Hi everyone, this is Anna from Phenomena Paints and I am here with another episode with for Chalk With Us. Uh, today we are doing a multicolor stencil. We, I will be using uh, quite a few colors. Here is a stencil. It's a, a sunflower. So I will be using a dark brown, black, red mix of colors in the middle and a red and orange gold color for the leaf for the petals and green for the leaves so let's start here uh, let me show you the colors uh, this is the green I am planning to use its forest phenomena paints and here is the gold mine this is the color gold mine in phenomena paints you see it's it's golden yellow and i will also be using this color it's um comment it's in our pumpkin line so it's more like an orange red rust color and then i have mixed it's a custom color i have mixed a black and comment to make this brown for the center beads of the flower. So let's start with it. I will be using this brush. It's a standard brush uh, with almost a straight top. It's more like a wax brush or a stencil brush you can use. So let's start with the gold. Here it is. This is the color I'm using. Just keep a bit of pressure when you are doing this stippling motion this will help the paint to go down through the stencil on the fabric it's very easy and quick so you can do cushion covers um, you can do even bed sheets I have done a bed sheet with the stenciling uh, hand painted and it turned out to be very nice beautiful so any fabric anything where you can stencil you can use this paint and use this stencil Not too much paint is used. You see, I'm just using the lid and I just dab my brush once in the jar. So it's like minimal paint. So we're done with the gold. Now I will be doing a bit of comment, a new brush here. And this is the color, you see. Here is the lid for this so it's easy for me to load in and load off the brush so that's why I'm using the lid 
So I am going to try to keep this a little bit dark here. This will give it a darker center. Again, it's a straight head brush, nothing fancy. spreading the color a bit here okay so we're done with this now I'm going to be using the brown for the center I just used this this is a custom color I mixed a uh, comment and black together to give it a nice center We're going to blend a bit of red on top just to make it look more colorful, I believe. <laughs> So I will be using the same color brush with the red just to add a bit of red. Okay, so we are almost done with this. like sunflower now green this is green so I will be using leaves and I'm also going to dab a bit of Let's put a bit of shade in here. Yeah, looks nice. Okay. Let's see. I also want to paint here I have written something so I'm going to make this black combination of black I'm going to use the same brush which is I've used for brown just clean it a little bit don't want the green there so see there's a little bit of shade this is done yeah I think it works all right let's take it out and see how it looks
Okay, this is how it looks. It looks pretty to me. I hope you like it too. This is a multicolor stenciling. I have used gold, gold mine here. This is comet. This is a mix of uh, black and comet. This is green forest, and that's black. So I hope you like it. Enjoy.